All right. Speaking of having to do better, we have updates about the drama between the baby and Danny Lee. Uh, Lay on Sunday, Lay, who is dealing with postpartum depression, was escorted out of the baby's home by police after a heated argument because the baby claimed that Danny assaulted him. He then went on live and recorded the altercation while she was breastfeeding their three month old child. But uh, Danny claims that the, the baby kicked her and their baby out of the home after an argument because she ordered the plan B pill. Now, of course, people on social media are chiming in saying that this is a prime example of why you should be careful when it comes to who you have a baby with. Uh, no one shows you this before you have it. Well, not this bad. But anyways, what are your thoughts on this story? So I'm not, I'm to understand that he's mad because she didn't want to have no more babies. Like, is that the gist of this? That's right there. Yeah. That's what it seems like. Mm-hmm. You know, th- this story is so layered, right? For, so for number one, y'all already know I'm just not a baby. I'm not a fan of the baby, the baby types, anything about this. Man, I just don't like. However, I did see something that he posted that he said he recorded this video for his protection. And I can support that in the sense that police have an implicit bias. If a woman calls the police, she could have been on beat the shit out of you. You a man, they're automatically going to assume that you were the one that did something. But what I find interesting about this story, I didn't know that Danny Lee had made this song about yellow bone, red bone, uh-huh. or whatever, and, and basically like, you know, trying to put herself on a pedestal saying basically that she was better than because she was a yellow bone and taunting the other baby mamas. And now your ass is in the same situation that those very women that you were taunting were. But I just find it a little strange, the the colorism that's going on with the story, because in my social media comments, I have seen a lot of dark skinned sisters going at this girl now granted it might be because of the song that she made but just feeling vindicated and saying she deserves it so there are so many stories wrapped up in this story um yeah i'm just gonna pass it i can help you out a little bit with that q listen the reason why this this colorism is becoming an issue is because she used to attack mimi and mimi is the baby's uh baby mom of his oldest child now, in this case, you're right, it is late, but I, I simply couldn't find it in my soul to feel sorry for, for a Danny Lee. A karma's a bitch. Um, this is what she wanted, and this is what she got. I feel like she thought that she had something better than all the other women out there, and he quickly reminded her that, hey, you just another side, what he called a side bitch, right? That's what he called her. Do yep. you remember when she used to um, she used to taunt Mimi? Uh, Danny Lee used to taunt Mimi. In fact, Mimi even said that Danny Lee used to keep the baby from seeing her her daughter, his oldest child. So I don't know. I just say that this this is like karma is a bitch. What goes around comes around. You thought you had something better than everybody else, and he put you in check. But you know what, Q? She gonna be fine. Future going to call her next week or run in her DM. Kanye might run in her DM too. Next thing you know, she's going to be on the red carpet with one of them and probably having a baby with one of them. I think she's going to be okay. Uh, I don't agree with y'all. In some parts I do. Uh, I will not say this woman's innocent because she's not. Mm -hmm. And if she was in fact taunting the other baby mama, shame on her. That's not right either. But let's not act like this is some uh, rare thing. I blame the baby. He's the one that's in between these two women. It is his job to say to his new woman, you're going to respect my baby mama. He probably gassed her up, got her thinking she is better than the other woman, because that's what people do when they get with a new person. They trash the old person and he let it go down until it benefited him to step away from her. So that's what I think. I think he filled her head up, gave her, get her, got her gas up so far to even do that song. I don't think she just pulled it out of thin air. And we can vilify her. And colorism is absolutely a problem. And it's never cool for the light skinned chick to think she's better than the dark skinned chick and vice versa. It ain't cool neither way, going both e- either way. But let's not take away from the blame on the baby. Now, before we had this issue with the community, you know, people, people were like, oh, we may not cancel him. And I was even one of those people. But now we're seeing more than one time how toxic this man is. One time is a mistake, two times a pattern. I say to hell with baby, the baby, whatever. And this is also, I don't know if either of you have dated a narcissist. 
What he's doing is classic narcissistic behavior. They, they taunt you, turn the camera on and be like, look what she's doing to me. That's what I see from that situation. I could be wrong because I'm not in that house with them, but I totally blame the baby. When you have a baby mama and a new girl, you better keep your, your women it together. And you need to d- establish the boundaries and say, you're going to respect my baby mama. Just like when we break up, I'm going to make the next one respect you. That's my right, opinion. So help, okay. So help me understand this just a little bit. Let's take a little bit of deeper dive on this. Okay. So he wanted her gone. He's done with her. Regardless Basically. of what the reason is, he's done with her. What, what, what is he supposed to do? Or, I mean, t- explain to me how he's supposed to uh, have her removed or have her leave if he's done with her. I just, I, that's the part that I'm confused on. Well, we don't know what the real argument was. She, I mean, there's two sides of the story, right? She's saying he's mad at her because she ordered a plan B pill. And if I would, I would have had a plan B for the first kid with him. You know, I mean? she needed a child support check. And I'm going to tell y'all something right. for all y'all silly hoes out there. Y'all going to get enough of staying somewhere where y'all name ain't on shit. <laughs> okay. Baby, get the cable bill in your name. Get the light bill in your name. Get something in your name. So those people can't put your ass out on the street and they got to get, go get an illegal eviction, okay? Like your friend can't lock the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just know oh. that, you know, when there's, when there's relationships, what we see and what's presented, we don't know what's really being said. We don't know who's getting gas, who's being lied to, he's, who's being gaslit. They both have a, a, a part to play in this, though. Absolutely, 1,000%. Here's one thing I want to point out before we move on. The general community, y'all get so mad when the LGBT community, when we make a fuss about injustices that happen to us and we blow it, blow it through the media. Women, now's your chance. Yeah. But instead, y'all gonna pussy pop and buy bottles to this ignorant Negro's music. And that's why he gonna continue to be what it is. So that's why I don't be having a lot of sympathy for a lot of people when they want to come at our community because we stand up and fuss. Here's an opportunity for y'all to fuss. With I agree. I, 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 and I'm going to go on the record. I have never bought or purchased or supported anything the baby has done. I'm not a fan of his. Um, and uh, I won't be a fan moving forward. And yeah, and women, we do need to be do a better job. We, we are so divisive and divided and we will find a reason no nope, well you're different than us so i'm not we're not we'll never have solidarity to fight against a toxic man like this there's always going to be a gang of pick me's that say oh yeah that's just her tripping and and come over here you need a strong black woman or it's, maybe it was her we we don't you're right we don't galvanize like y'all we don't get together and we don't we're not unified against the toxic male we're not oh, so that's our bad and ladies this is a t- we, let's let's stop being like this anyways moving on um, da- people on social media. Okay. Danny Lee's brother, uh, took to Instagram to share how he felt about the baby. I know this is kind of long. We're taking with him. And hopefully after this, we don't have to talk about him anymore. <laughs> okay. I'm actually sick of this Negro. Um, <laughs> he, uh, took to Instagram to talk about how he felt about the baby humiliating his sister. He threatened to fight the rapper when he goes to the West coast. Take a look at what he said. Coast bro, which I know you be out here. We're going to catch this one-on-one fade, bro. You know what I'm saying? One-on-one fade to see what happens between me and you. I want to see how much of a gangster you are. Well, okay. Brother has spoken. Now, uh, a lot of celebs have commented on the baby drama, the drama. And uh, Erica Mena seemingly responded to the baby statement on her Instagram story. She said, quote, men trap women with babies too. Stay woke, especially because they know she simply cannot walk away from parenting like he can. Lou Duvall responded to the scenario and said, Women say men trap them with babies, but get mad if you keep wanting to wear a condom. You know what? This is so damn ignorant. And it, first of all, Erica, men need to shut her damn mouth. She had no business inserting herself in these people's business. Her and Safari got enough going on. And that's what she's doing. She's projecting because, I mean, it's the same toxic situation that she and Safari is in. She had two babies from that corny ass Negro for a check. <laughs> and that check ended up being a trap because now she home with them two damn infants and she can't tootsie roll and do club appearances while he's all in Miami and Jamaica wearing them tacky ass fashions and fur coats and shit in, in the summertime. And now she home going through postpartum with two babies and she miserable. But it does go both ways. You're going to pay on the front end or the back end, but you're going to pay. You wanted to check, you got the task. 
And I don't even think Safari got no check. He been spending uh, Nicki Minaj little money. <laughs> you always think it's somebody taking it. It's a woman's and money. Mona, we all, and I love Mona Scott Young to death. Mona gave me my first TV job, but Mona don't pay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, oh my God. He paid me kind of good, but okay. Oh,